Hi guys, Mark Hill from Harwell XPS. Uh, today we're going to be introducing a new bit of XPS fitting software called Curve Fit. Now um, we first came across this at our summer school last year where the developer, uh, Dr. Gwilym Kerhurve from uh, Imperial College London, brought it along uh, as part of his poster presentation for our event so we could showcase it to the XPS community. Um, Curve is completely free and open source, takes some of the best features of Casper XPS and Avantage, combines them into a simple to use bit of software that's very easy uh, to get to grips with. Uh, it's brilliant for less experienced spectroscopists, um, but in fact it's great for all. Um, so there's not all of the advanced functionality, uh, functionality of Casper XPS, but there's a lot of features in there that are really good and not in Casper XPS. So there's quite a few ways that we already use this alongside Casper XPS uh, to get the kind of best possible fits, best possible understanding of our data, of our materials. Um, so in time, we're going to be covering a bit more of Curve Fit, what it can and can't do, um, what it's really useful for, um, and working with um, Gwilym to try and help bring this software to more of the community, get more people using it. Um, so we are going to be releasing some new videos soon. Um, we're also going to be releasing some new pages on our XPS resource website, harwellxps.guru. Um, if you don't already visit there, please do. Um, but we're just finishing off a current big project on Guru, uh, which we'll hopefully be announcing soon. Once we're done with that, um, we can start building some pages uh, for general resources for CurveFit alongside uh, Gwilym. So... He has already been releasing some videos uh, to introduce this software, get people up to speed. So we will link to the channel in the description below. Definitely recommend watching some of his videos. He will walk you through how to do the kind of basic fitting is up to some quite advanced stuff already. Um, but we are just going to give a very quick introduction where you can get the software, how to kind of get started with analysis um, so that you can crack on and get to using this as well. So firstly, Let's have a look at where we can find this. Okay, so to find CurveFit, go ahead and stick over into Google. We're going to SourceForge. So this is where Gwilym's uploaded all of the details for CurveFit. You can go ahead and click on the download link and that will give you uh, an installer for the Curve Fitting software. Okay, so I'm actually back a day uh, later uh, because I had some issues with the install, but I've spoken to Gwilym, who has uh, helped me troubleshoot. Uh, and now we're going to go through the installation um, and I have some new tips to help it go more smoothly for you. So uh, we're just going to open this uh, installer now. Um, if you'd use the previous version of CurveFit, then you will probably know that it came as a zip file. Now this is um, an actual installer. So we're just going to go ahead and find a folder to put it in. What we do not want to do is to put this in um, programs in the C drive. We don't want to add this to programs and then run from the start menu. It will not work. Um, we need to run this directly from the folder. So if you're already familiar with CASA XPS, you will know this is how CASA operates. Everything's from that root folder. So we've set up a directory um, and then we're just going to go to our install directory and uh, that, we've, that we've just um, created there. And what we'll find is some um, folders and some files. Uh, with, there's a data file with some sample data that you can play with and look at. Peak library. <clears throat> so in here there are some peak models derived for the, uh, the standard data sets in the data folder. Um, if you double click on these, you should be able to open them in Notepad. They're just JSON files, um, but you can you can edit these uh, in uh, a Python console uh, at your leisure. You can also just edit these within CurveFit, and that's probably what I would recommend you do rather than playing with the um, with the Python Python console. Um, but if you prefer working in in Python this way, you you have that option as well. So then we also have a config file where there's some settings. Again, you can open this in a Python console and then uh, libraries with a lot of information on uh, relative sensitivity factors, etc. Uh, OK, so now we can actually launch the software. So double click on the XE to open it. Um, 
again another little tip picked up from Gwillem. Uh, do not run this as administrator. For some reason, that also triggers an error, uh, and it will not run properly. Um, but uh, if you just double click and open it, there we go. Uh, welcome to Curfit. Okay, so we can go ahead and have a quick look at some of this sample data that Gwillem has prepared. I'm just going to open the PT4F. So you can have a look at what the data looks like. Really nice and clean interface. If you're familiar with Avantage already, you'll probably be quite familiar with some of the layout, the settings here. Uh, so Curvefit is capable of opening Avantage files, VMS files, Fi files, all kinds of files, Kratos files. So really, really uh, versatile in the kind of data it can handle. And you can get, kind of get everything into the same format and then export to uh, Excel. Um, but it looks great. It's really easy to use. Um, I definitely recommend watching some of Gwillem's videos. He'll go into details about how to use everything in depth. Uh, this is just a bit of a quick introduction so you guys can see how cool CurveFit is and hopefully get to uh, start using it on your own. Okay, so thanks for that. As I say, I will link to Gwillem's channel uh, in, the, uh, in the video here. Go and check all of that out. Go and check out Curvefit. We will be preparing some more um, kind of videos on this topic soon and some more content for our Guru site as well. Uh, we will be launching a new Curvefit section to Harvard XPS Guru with some help pages. Um, we we have a temporary one now, but we can share our, our link to in the description now, which just covers the kind of installation process that we've gone through. Uh, if some people prefer, you know, having it uh, written down, so we'll have that resource as well. Um, but stay tuned for more kind of in-depth guides from us on Curvefit. Cheers. See you soon.